20th Century Fox and George Lucas bring you an adventure unlike anything on your planet. Star Wars. Guys, guys, it's Star Wars Day, right? Come on, let's do this. Hi guys, Laser Bolt here and welcome to another episode. Happy Star Wars Day! Today I'm going to show you how you can make some 3D printed vintage action figures. You remember the ones from the 80s? We all had a bunch of those. It was a lot of fun. Of course, when I was younger, I had a bunch of Star Wars figures and stuff. None of them lasted this long. I played with them pretty hard. But uh, let's go ahead and print out a couple of them today. I'll show you how it's done. All right? Hey R2, how's it going, buddy? Nice. Hey R2, here's one for you. Did you know when you ran away on Tatooine and Luke and C-3PO went looking for you? Luke let C-3PO drive. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, what's that? We're picking up something on the scanners. What in the world? There's an ad at down there causing trouble. An ad at. An ad at. An ad at. Doesn't matter what you call, man. We're going in. There he is. R2, give it full power. Bullseye! Yeah, buddy. Now that's a deal that should keep the Empire out of here forever. It's Star Wars, the Empire Strikes Back action figures, each sold separately. Here's Imperial TIE Fighter pilot, ADAT Commander, and Zuckus. All new. So a fellow called Desert Octopus has a whole bunch of 3D scanned models of old vintage action figures. There's quite a collection here and you should be able to find whatever you're looking for. There's a link in the description of this video where you can grab some of these for yourself. Before we print this guy out, let's pop the model into Tinkercad and make a few modifications that will make life a lot easier. Let's replace these clunky brittle posts and use magnets to attach the limbs instead. I got a bunch of these 5mm magnets from Amazon that should do the trick. We'll start by making a 6mm diameter cylinder and then make a bunch of copies of it. You're going to need about 10 of them for each action figure. We'll use these to punch out perfect magnet sized holes. There you go, just like that. Now do the arms and legs and we'll be ready to run the 3D model through a slicer program that will give us a file that your 3D printer knows what to do with. And we're ready to print this bad boy. When it's done printing, just remove it from the build plate, snap all of the pieces off of the raft, and clean them up a little bit with an X-Acto knife. Now it's time for super glue and magnets. Yeah, bitch! Magnets! Just like that. Of course you want to make sure that you put the magnets in the right way so they're attracting each other and not repelling each other. I like to use acrylic paints for things like this because they look good, they're water based, they're easy to work with, they dry quickly and are permanent once they're dry. Ta -da. Hey look it, look without a helmet, look with a helmet, neat. There you have it guys, a fun little Star Wars Day project for you. 
Hey, those turned out pretty good. Don't forget, you can find links to everything in the description down below. Well, I had a ton of fun making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Please, leave any questions or comments down below in the chat. Well, R2 and I have a ton of neat stuff to watch today. I think we're going to start with the new show, The Bad Batch, that just comes out today. And after that, I think we're going to binge a couple of the movies. So it should be a good time. All right, everybody, have a great Star Wars day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.